Ever feel like you're doing everything right for weight loss? You're meal prepping like a pro, sneaking in workouts between Zoom meetings, pacing around your house just to hit those steps, even your dog looks at you like you've lost it. You are on top of it, or so you think, until your regular weights roll around and the scale just won't budge. But what if I told you that successful weight loss isn't just about what you're doing during the day, but also about what you're doing or not doing at night? Here's a little known fact. The average person spends about 25 years of their life sleeping. Yet this crucial factor is often overlooked in the weight loss equation. Could what happen while you are asleep or not asleep be holding you back? Losing weight is harder than putting it on. Hello, my dears, and welcome. I'm Marina, your registered dietitian, here to help you on your weight loss journey. Today, we are diving into whether sleep deprivation might be sabotaging your weight loss effort. And since you're probably not sleeping anyway, stick around and this could be the breakthrough you need. We all know that sufficient sleep is crucial for maintaining healthy physical, mental, and emotional functioning, but it's often overlooked. While optimal sleep duration varies by individual, the average person needs around five more minutes. Let me sleep five more minutes, Barney. Just kidding. The National Sleep Foundation recommends that most adults get between seven to nine hours per night to support overall health. Yet, with increasing professional and social demands, along with the rise of artificial lightning and constant access to electronic media, average sleep duration has significantly declined over the past century. Back in 1910, people averaged 9 hours of sleep a night. By 1975, that had dropped to 7.5 hours, and today it's less than 7 hours, and for many, even less than 6. I should get some sleep. Chronic sleep deprivation, often due to so-called social jet lag, is now widespread, affecting about a quarter of adults and even higher percentage of children and teens. While many people claim that functioning on less sleep makes them more efficient and productive, the long-term consequences are far from positive and should be seriously questioned. Sleep deprivation has been linked to seven of the 15 leading causes of death in the U.S., including heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and mental health disorders. Cognitive impairment, mood disturbances, and irritability are some of the more immediate effects, but one of the most critical consequences of sleep deprivation is its link to obesity. Sleep plays a critical role in regulating energy metabolism. Without sufficient rest, your body struggles to manage weight effectively as metabolic imbalances make it more likely to gain weight. Sleep deprivation actually leads to increased food intake because your body seeks extra energy to stay awake. When you are sleep deprived, your body enters a fight or flight state causing hormonal changes that drive appetite. Two key hormones leptin and ghrelin are major players here. Leptin released from fat cells inhibits appetite and promotes feelings of fullness, while ghrelin released from the stomach and pancreas stimulates appetite. Under normal conditions, these hormones fluctuate throughout the day to maintain balance. However, sleep deprivation disrupts this balance, causing leptin levels to drop and ghrelin levels to rise. Studies show that just two days of sleep restriction can lead to an 80% decrease in leptin and 28% increase in ghrelin, explaining those late-night cravings for calorie-dense carbohydrate-rich foods. This imbalance doesn't stop there. Sleep deprivation also activates the brain's hedonic pathways, reward systems making eating feel even more pleasurable. When these reward centers are more active, you are more likely to crave high-calorie, sugary, and fatty foods. So not only are you hungrier, but your brain will make you feel great when you indulge, making late-night takeout or snacking feel almost irresistible. Findings do suggest that short sleep heightens the motivation to seek food for reward. 
And worse yet, the extra hours you are awake give you more opportunities to eat, while fatigue lowers your motivation to exercise or even move around, creating the perfect storm more calories consumed and fewer burnt. Beyond hormonal changes, sleep deprivation leads to unhealthy eating patterns on the long run. Research shows that people who sleep less tend to consume more meals, more snacks and nighttime foods, particularly high-calorie, high-fat options. Secret junk food time! There's also a clear correlation between poor sleep and a lower intake of fruits and vegetables alongside a higher preference for fast foods, sugars and fats. Calvin and colleagues found that sleep-deprived individuals consume 200 to 500 additional calories daily, which can lead to weight gain. The National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey, one of the largest health studies in the US, backs this up. It found that adults who sleep less than 7 hours per night have significantly higher rates of obesity. In fact, short sleep duration, often less than 6 hours per night, has been consistently linked to increased body mass index and a higher risk of obesity. This correlation is especially strong in African Americans and men who seem to be at greater risk of developing obesity when sleep deprived. Additionally, those who work night shifts or have irregular sleep schedules face an even higher risk due to the desynchronization of their circadian rhythms. Additional data further supports connection between short sleep duration and obesity. One meta-analysis show that just one hour less sleep per night can lead to a weight gain of around 1.4 kg in a person 178 cm tall. Another study revealed that adults who sleep less than 5 hours per night are 40% more likely to develop obesity compared to those who sleep 7 to 8 hours per night. In essence, Chronic sleep deprivation sets off a vicious cycle. Metabolic and hormonal imbalances increase appetite and cravings, you are awake longer with more opportunities to eat, and fatigue reduces your energy for physical activity. It's a perfect storm for weight gain and long-term health issue. So, how much sleep are you getting? Do you think it's affecting your progress? Drop a comment below, I'd love to hear your thoughts. So, while sleep deprivation clearly contributes to weight gain, how does it impact your ability to lose weight? We'll dig into that next. But first, my dears, if you haven't already, please make sure you're subscribed. It means so much and helps me keep bringing you valuable insights to support your weight loss journey. Moving on. Weight loss boils down to burning more calories than you consume, creating a calorie deficit. However, achieving this deficit is influenced by various factors and sleep is one of the most significant. So, if sleep deprivation can lead to weight gain, what do you think will happen on a weight loss journey? It's the same times 100. We are doomed. <laughs> sleep deprivation can and will sabotage your weight loss efforts in multiple ways. Question answered. But that is just the beginning. We need to explore how this sabotage happens, the extent of the damage, and most importantly, how to address and overcome it. Tell me everything! As we discussed, lack of sleep significantly impacts our hunger and satiety hormones. But let's see how this interplays with a calorie deficit during your weight loss attempt. When you are in a calorie deficit, your body's hunger hormones are already fluctuating. The longer you remain in the state, the more your body fights against losing fat as it's wired to protect energy reserves. You probably are aware that weight loss is not on our body's mind as extra layers serves as a protection in case of famine. And although that scenario today is unlikely, Hormones still think so. Specifically, your ghrelin levels, the hormone responsible for making you feel hungry, begin to rise on a calorie deficit. Over time, you'll experience a bigger appetite and stronger hunger pangs. These changes can even persist 
after your weight loss phase. Hungry and angry, you hangry, Claire. Now throw sleep deprivation into the mix and it gets even tougher. Lack of sleep not only amplifies the increase in ghrelin, but also further lowers leptin, the hormone that signals fullness, which is already lowered with calorie deficit itself. With both of these hormones working double against you, maintaining a calorie deficit becomes even more challenging. On top of that, sleep deprivation heightens brain activities in area linked to emotional and sensory control of food intake, making you more prone to cravings. And there's your double whammy of increased hunger and decreased satisfaction, making it incredibly hard to hit your calorie goals and progress with weight loss. So when you are sleep deprived, staying in a calorie deficit becomes a Herculean task. Your food choices are harder to manage, temptations skyrocket, and those persistent cravings making healthy eating feel nearly impossible. Lack of sleep also impairs decision making and impulse control, making it harder to resist unhealthy foods and you are more likely to indulge in calorie dense foods and snacks, which can easily derail your weight loss efforts. But it doesn't end there. Honestly, where does it end with you people? Sleep deprivation also takes a toll on your energy levels and motivation. People who don't sleep enough often experience daytime fatigue and sleepiness, which discourages physical activity and promotes sedentary lifestyle. When you are exhausted, exercise feels like the last thing you want to do. This decrease in energy expenditure slows down your weight loss progress as fewer calories are burned. Plus, relying solely on a diet to maintain a calorie deficit becomes even more difficult. On top of that, being less active means you're at risk of losing more muscle mass, further lowering your metabolic rate. Are you already setting an alarm for a bedtime? Share in the comments if you notice that lack of sleep makes you feel hungrier or less motivated to exercise. I can squeeze in my workout, but the food noise is real, so we are stuffing our face with proteins, fibers, and water. And let's not forget about stress and its key player, cortisol. When you experience challenges, your body responds physically and mentally. This is stress. While a little stress can keep you alert and motivated, too much of it leads to problems. Numerous studies show that cortisol levels increase during sleep deprivation, particularly during the nighttime of not sleeping and the following day. Chronic short sleepers tend to have higher cortisol levels than those who get more sleep. The sleep deprivation becomes a form of chronic stress over time and chronic stress increases cravings for high-fat, energy-dense food. This cycle has been linked to obesity and weight gain in many studies. So, if you're trying to lose weight and not sleep enough, you are facing yet another whammy. You're gone. Whammy. It's a vicious cycle. Sleep affects metabolism and those metabolic changes in turn affect sleep. Chronic sleep deprivation combined with snacking on a high calorie foods or eating large meals late at night further disrupts sleep. Heavy, rich foods close to bedtime can keep digestion active, causing you to wake up during the night and lowering your sleep quality. Especially, a higher intake of saturated fat and lower intake of fiber is associated with a lighter, less restorative sleep profile, while increased consumption of carbohydrates has been linked to more frequent nocturnal awakenings. Not only does this poor sleep quality slow your weight loss progress, but unhealthy eating habits that develop when you're tired make it even harder to stay in a calorie deficit. Calories, 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 calories. So when these habits take hold, your weight loss journey becomes more difficult and the cycle continues. Now, how much more weight could we lose if we slept more? Both 
better sleep quality and longer sleep duration have been shown to play a critical role in successful weight loss. Studies highlight that sleep, especially during calorie restriction, is closely linked to fat loss. In one study, participants who restricted their calories for 14 days lost significantly less fat when they only slept 5.5 hours per night compared to those who spent 8.5 hours in bed. Less sleep meant less fat loss. That simple. Sleep. I need sleep. A larger study led by Thompson and colleagues explored this relationship further, focusing on overweight and obese women participating in 24-month weight loss program. The only difference between the two groups in the study was their sleep duration. Less than 7 hours versus more than 7 hours per night. Both groups follow the same reduced calorie diet, increased their physical activity, and received behavioral counseling, including sleep modification tips. The findings? Better sleep quality and quantity boosted the chances of successful weight loss by 33%. So improving your sleep habits can quite literally increase your success by a third. And the changes in your sleep don't need to be drastic to make a difference. Research by Wang and colleagues, which examined the effects of sleep restriction on weight loss, highlights this. In their study, obese adults were divided into two groups. For eight weeks, one group underwent caloric restriction alone, while the other group combined caloric restriction with sleep restriction. The results revealed that moderate sleep restriction, about one hour less sleep per night on just five days a week, mimicking a typical work week, led to a lower proportion of fat loss and a higher proportion of muscle loss within the overall weight loss. Therefore, increasing sleep by just an hour a day could enhance fat loss and improve overall weight loss outcomes. Additionally, increasing sleep duration can lead to better regulation of appetite hormones like ghrelin and leptin, improved glucose tolerance, and lower cortisol levels, factors that further support weight loss. And interestingly, it works both ways. Nam and colleagues found that in six-month weight loss program, sleep patterns improved in participants as they lost weight. Fat loss, in particular, seemed to help alleviate sleep issues such as sleep apnea and others. In other words, the more weight you lose, the better your sleep, and better sleep makes it easier to lose even more weight. Sleep now! Sleep! It's a virtuous cycle that anyone on a weight loss journey should want to tap into. Several studies reinforce the idea that extending sleep contributes to better weight control. In a randomized controlled trials by Tassali and colleagues, 80 overweight participants who typically slept less than 6.5 hours were enrolled in a two-week sleep extension program. The results? The intervention group reduced their daily calorie intake by approximately 217 calories compared to those who didn't extend their sleep. Imagine how that adds up over time. Other research, such as by Calvin and colleagues, observed that when participants were subjected to experimental sleep restriction, their energy intake skyrocketed, ranging from 1,178 to 2,500 additional calories daily. That's equivalent to consuming an entire day's worth of calories. These extra calories, primarily from carbohydrates, directly contributed to weight gain. Participants put on between 6.5 to 22.5 kilograms during the study. The lack of sleep didn't just give them more time to eat, but also steered them towards higher calorie, carb-heavy foods, making it nearly impossible to stick to a calorie deficit. So, I think we certainly answer our question. Sleep deprivation indeed creates a cascade of factors that work against your weight loss goals. When you're running on too little sleep, your cravings increase, your impulse control drops, and you are more likely to consume foods that are high in sugar and fat. Combine this with increased eating time, less energy to move around, and the result is clear. 
losing weight becomes an uphill battle. But don't give up. To enhance your weight loss progress, improving your sleep is essential. It doesn't require drastic changes, just a few simple adjustments can make a big difference. Aim for consistency by going to bed and waking up at the same time every day, limit screen time at least one hour before bed, avoid heavy meals, sugary snacks and caffeine close to bedtime and create a sleep-friendly environment by keeping your bedroom cool, dark and quiet. You could also consider keeping a sleep log alongside your food diary to evaluate your sleep routine and set that bed alarm and not the morning alarm. And that's it for today's video, my dears. I hope you've gained insight into how sleep deprivation can sabotage your weight loss efforts. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I've earned your subscription. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like to make it count. Wishing you all the best on your weight loss journey and now let's get some sleep. With enough rest, you can be the best. See you next time. Bye.